Uh, good morning. Um, you know, it's a very cold day down here in South Carolina today. Uh, so good morning to everyone. Um, you know, this season, this season has been exciting and pretty memorable for our four seniors. And, you know, we have 12 regular season conference games left and just excited to take each one of those on one at a time. Thank you, Coach. So a reminder, our members in media, it's uh, star one to get in the queue. Our first questions come from uh, Whitney Hayworth. Uh, Whitney, please go ahead. Coach, good morning. How are you? I'm well. How are you, Whitney? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, like you said, I mean, very exciting season for Coastal Carolina, off to the, you know, the best start in program history. You know, at what point maybe in the non-conference did you realize this team is different than the rest and there's something special about this program? Um, I would say it was after our first loss, actually. Um, you know, we 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 had uh, we were we were we I can't remember when it exactly came, but University of Richmond was in our tournament, and you know the way that our team bounced back and responded to that loss was like no other team that I've had the ability to coach, and you know they were they took it very personally, um, and you know were ready, open. Um, ready for scout the next day and then um, came out against George Mason and had a phenomenal game. And I was like, wow, we might have something a, a little bit, a little bit different than we've had before. And looking at your squad, you know, I think the biggest difference or improvement from last year is probably on the defensive side. Uh, you know, how have you seen the team improve in that aspect? You know, I think that it, they, they, they take someone scoring on them a lot more personally. And again, I've told everyone, I want to credit my assistant coaches. Um, you know, Coach AJ Jordan coaches our offense, which has always been, um, you know, second or somewhere up there in league. But uh, Coach Vanessa Taylor and Stephanie McCormick are both former head coaches who are on my staff. Um, Coach Taylor's our defensive coordinator. And, you know, this summer she got out, um, went to a couple of um, very good defensive coaches. Their, their universities and sat down and, and and really tried to dive into this defensive thing. And then, um, you know, our student athletes understand the importance of if we want to put ourselves in situations to, to win games, we have to defend. Scoring is, is what earned the scholarship, but defense is what's going to win us games. And they bought into it um, and have been, have been really, really, really prideful about it since the beginning of season. And looking at one player that's big on the defensive front, but the offensive front as well, DJ Williams, what can you say about her and what she's meant to Coastal? You know, DJ is a phenomenal basketball player. I, I don't have to tell you that. Uh, you can look at the stats <laughs> and see that. Um, but she's just a stat stuffer. Um, whatever it takes to get the win, DJ is going to do that. Um, and it's been incredible uh, to see that from her. Um, you know, she can score, she can assist, she can rebound, she can steal, she can literally do it all. For the last two seasons, she's been probably top five in a lot of the categories um, statistically, and, and that's invaluable. Well, any coach would love to coach that. That's that's pretty invaluable. And last one for me is you, you know, you look at the rest of your schedule, like you mentioned, 12 or so games left, uh, three-way tie for first place right now. What is it going to take for Coastal Carolina to finish off as, you know, regular season champions and get to New Orleans? You know, I, I, I will say that for us it's one game at a time. You know, my four seniors, when we put the numbers out there for them in terms of what we have left, they're like, wow, that's it? Um, and I guess that's why senior leadership is, is, is special for any coach. Um, they just want to win one in a row as many times as possible until the end. And and if we do that, you know, we, we could look up at the board and say that. But our goal is to just take care of business one game at a time. 